As an Amazon seller, it's super important that you make sure that all of your product listings have the highest click-through rate and conversion rate as possible. Because the higher your click-through rate and the higher your conversion rate, the more sales you're gonna make and the more profit you're gonna make. So as a seller, it's super important to A-B split test different versions of your product images, titles, and descriptions to see which version performs best and which version you should keep using for the long term. Now you can do this manually, but unfortunately it's quite a time consuming process, so not many sellers do it. But the good news is you can now get Amazon to do these A-B split tests for you completely for free using a new tool in Seller Central called Manager Experiments. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use that tool. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so you wanna start off by logging into Seller Central and then coming over to the Brands tab here. Under Brands, you wanna select Manage Experiments and you'll be taken to a page that looks something like this. Now, one important thing to point out is that to be able to use this tool, you have to have your brand enrolled in Amazon's brand registry. So if you haven't already done that, what I'd recommend doing is watching the videos that I put out last week on how to trademark your brand name and then enroll that brand name into Amazon's brand registry. So what I'll do is I'll put some links somewhere around here and then I'll also put links down in the description. If you are enrolled in brand registry, then you'll be able to find this manage, exper manage your experiments tool. And then once you're in here, you wanna come over to create a new experiment. If I click on that, you will see that there's three options. So using this tool, Amazon will allow you to A, B split test three different parts, oh, four, three different parts of your product listing. A plus content, product title and main image. Now, most of you will know what your main hero image is and you will know what your product title is, but if you haven't heard of A plus content, A plus content looks something like this and it's essentially a, um, a way to have a formatted product description on your product listing with text and images. Again, you can only create A plus content if you're Amazon brand registered, so I'd highly recommend trademarking your brand name and enrolling in Amazon's brand registry if you haven't already done so. So let me take you back over to manage experiments. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna walk you through how to create an experiment testing two different main images, but the process is exactly the same if you wanted to uh, test two different titles or two different versions of A plus content. So what we wanna do is just select main image. Then here you wanna select the ASIN that you wanna run the split test on. Now to be able to select an ASIN at this stage, that ASIN needs to meet three conditions. The first condition is that you own the brand and it's enrolled in Amazon's brand registry and we've talked about that. The second condition is that that ASIN has a decent amount of traffic. And then finally, the third condition is that it has a decent amount of sales velocity. Now, if your ASIN meets all three of those criteria, what you'll see is a green tick, something that says eligible, and then a clickable button that says select reference ASIN. So what you wanna do is go ahead and click that button. You will then be taken to a page that looks something like this, where you can actually start to build your experiment. So you firstly need to give the experiment a name. Here you can give it any name you want. I would just give it something that you know you're gonna remember, especially if you're gonna be running multiple tests. So for this example, we're gonna be testing um, two different versions of a hero image for a laptop stand listing, version A versus version B. So I'll just give this a simple title like laptop stand image A versus image B. Then you need to select the duration. So this is how long you want the experiment to run for. Now, if I just hover over the information um, section here, you can see that Amazon recommends eight, running this experiment for eight to 10 weeks. And the reason for this is that Amazon know for most product listings, for the majority of product listings, eight to 10 weeks is enough time for Amazon to get enough data to give you a statistically significant result as to which version is better or which version performs better. What I would say is that if your product listing has a lot of traffic and high sales velocity, you can probably get away with running this experiment for four weeks. However, if your product doesn't get much traffic, doesn't have very high sales velocity, then you're gonna need to run the uh, experiment for longer, maybe eight to 10 weeks to get enough results to really get a clear answer as to which version is better. So for this example, we're just gonna set it to eight weeks. Then for start date, I would just select today. Today's the 18th of May, so I'll just select today as a start date, and then the end date will get populated um, depending on what the how long the duration is that you set. 
Now, even though you start this start date as today, what will happen is once you submit this experiment, it'll be, it'll be sent to Amazon for approval. Once Amazon actually approve this experiment, the start date will be pushed forward, forward a week. So even if you select today, once it's approved, it'll actually be a, it'll start a week after the approval date. Finally, you need to add, you can add in a hypothesis. Uh, to be honest with you, in the experiments that I've done in the past, I've done three of these now, I just leave this blank. Um, however, if you have a reason why you think image B might outperform image A, it's worth entering hypothesis, uh, hypothesis here, especially if you're running multiple tests, um, just to be able to keep track of everything and re really for, it's for you to remember why you set up this experiment in the first place. Now, if the ASIN you selected is not a variation listing, it's just a standalone listing, then what you'll see is just something that looks like this. So on the left, you'll see version A. This is the main image, the main hero image you currently have in use on your product listing. And then you'll see version B. This is the image that Amazon is gonna test against the original image to see which one performs better. So all you need to do is click upload image and then select the image, the version B that you wanna test against the original version during this experiment. Now let's say instead this was actually a variation listing. What you would then need to do is come down to this section just down here and actually select which child listings you want to run this experiment for. So you can either have all child listings uh, selected and run an experiment for all of your child listings, or you can just select one child listing. And that's what I'm gonna do in this example. So I'm gonna deselect uh, two of the child listings, just because in, for this example, I just want to test the main hero image, split test the main hero image, for one child listing, the best selling child listing. So I'd select one child listing and then I'd come over to upload image and I would add version B that I wanna test against the original one. So this is the test that's actually gonna be run. What you've actually added up here, if it's a variation listing, is just a version B for the parent listing. So this, this is not an experiment that's actually gonna run. This one down here that I've selected, this is the only experiment that's gonna run if this is a variation listing. Once you've done all of that, what you want to do is scroll back up to the top of the page and select schedule experiment. Once you submit that experiment, what will then happen is it will be sent to Amazon who will either disapprove it or approve it. If it's disapproved, you can go back into the experiment, make some changes and then resubmit it. If it's approved, what will then happen is a week after the experiment's been approved, Amazon will start running the experiment. And what they'll do is they'll show 50% of your customers version A and the other 50% of your customers version B. And the experiment will run for the duration that you set it for, and Amazon will give you some initial results after a few weeks, and then at the end of the experiment, Amazon will give you the rest of the results. So what I wanna do is just finish this video by showing you what these results look like and then how to interpret them. At the end of your experiment, Amazon will give you the results of that experiment in a table that looks something like this. So firstly, Amazon will tell you which version performed better in the experiment and the probability that that version is the better one to use long-term moving forward in terms of its performance. So you can see in this example, version A, the original version performed better than version B, the one I was split testing against. And Amazon says there's a 53% probability that version A is better. What this means is, is that the higher the probability, the more sure that Amazon is that that is the best version to keep using. And what you'll tend to find is that the bigger the difference in the data, so the better one version performed compared to the other, the higher the probability is, the closer the result, so the, the more similar the two versions performed, the lower the probability because they're more similar. One isn't necessarily 100% better than the other one, okay? Then what you'll see is a table here where there's seven metrics for version A, version B, and then you can see on the uh, final column, it will show you the difference between the two versions. So firstly, you can see units per unique visitor, conversions, units sold, units sold from search, sales, sales from search, and sample size. Now, all of these ones here, all of these ones down, um, we don't want to pay too much attention to. What we want to focus on is units per unique visitor and conversions. And the most important metric out of these two is conversions. So that's what we're going to focus on here. 
Now, unfortunately, I would love it if Amazon gave you a click-through rate and a conversion rate for each version, but unfortunately they don't. What they do is they give you a combination of click-through rate and conversion rate with this conversions metric. So this conversions metric is essentially the number of impressions your product listing got versus the number of sales that um, your product listing got. So this takes into consideration, this is a basically a combination of click-through rate and conversion rate. So you wanna look at which version A or B has the higher conversion rate for this metric here. And as we can see, version A has the higher conversion rate. That's why Amazon is saying that version A is the better one to keep using. However, there's very little difference in the conversion rate. They performed almost as well as each other. And that's why there's only a 53% probability that version A is ver better than version B. Now, the longer you leave the experiment running for, the more sales you get over the experiment and the bigger the difference between the two versions, the higher that probability is going to be and the easier it is for you to say, okay, one of these versions performs much better than the other and this is the one that I'm going to continue using moving forward. So guys, if you're enrolled in Amazon's brand registry and you've never run an A-B split test, I would highly recommend giving this tool a go. It's free to use and you might find that just by making one small change, you're able to massively increase your conversion rate, which is gonna increase your sales, bring down your PPC costs and ultimately increase your bottom line profits. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a like and I'll see you in the next one.